Good morning and welcome back to Tightwad Repairs. Today we are working on planting our garden with our vegetable seeds and then this is Harper. Harper say hi. Wave to the camera. Wave say hi. And Harper has, what kind of seeds are these? They're vegetables. No, these aren't vegetables. These came out of your pear you ate this morning, didn't they? So Harper has some pear seed. We also have some green bell pepper seeds some jalapeno pepper seeds, some habanero peppers, and we have some green bell pepper seeds we harvested from our garden last year, and some red bell pepper seeds we harvested this year. We also have some uh, marigold seeds. Uh, marigolds are really good for keeping the bugs out of your garden. Uh, bugs don't like them, so they stay away from them, and pre other predators don't like them as well. Uh, we also have some impatience seeds. We have some shaded areas of our yard where we like to plant impatience. So today we're going to be planting seeds in all of our pots. I'm sitting in my big girl chair. You are. You're sitting in your big girl chair. All right, we're ready to get started. Harper's in her big girl chair, she said. First thing to do is to take our peat pots and put them inside our plastic pots. They're, they don't necessarily have to go in plastic. It just makes them easier to handle when they're really wet. So Harper's going to help me take these pots and put them in the plastic ones. Put them in your plastic pot. And you can put this one in there. And she is such a good helper. There you go. How many more do we need? Count them. Yeah, we need two more. Here you go. Here's the last one we need right now. All right. Now, what do we need to put our seeds in for them to grow? They need three things. They need soil. So we have some organic soil we're going to use from Jiffy. They need sunlight. Are we outside? Yeah. Is the sun out? Yes. Yeah. So they're going to get what they need, right? And then what do we have in here? and water. So they need soil, sun, and water. So the first thing we're going to do is fill up some of our pots with soil. So here you go. Help me put some soil in the pots. Can you dump this soil in the little cups? And we need to put it in all of our cups, don't we? So we'll put soil in all of our cups and then we'll check back in. All right, we're almost ready to put our seeds in, but first we need to label our pots so we remember what we planted in each one. Uh, for this we're going to use masking uh, duct tape. You can use masking tape, duct tape, painters tape. I'm using duct tape because I know it's going to get wet and I think duct tape will repel the water a little bit better. And we're just going to kind of label each one with initials. So we're going to have green bell peppers. We're going to have uh, red bell peppers. No, orange peppers. Orange peppers. We have some habanero peppers that are orange, she said. And then we have some pear seeds. Yeah, we have some pear seeds, but uh, my daddy's Orange bell peppers, red bell peppers. And then we'll do the other ones. We'll do one big jalapeno and one big habanero pepper. You're right. And how many seeds are we going to put in each one? You remember what we said? Two. We're going to put two seeds in each one. All right, so we have them labeled. We have four green bell peppers, two red bell peppers, two jalapenos, one pear, and one habanero. So Harper's going to do her pear first. She found two seeds this morning in her pear that she wants to plant. We probably should let them dry out first before planting, but um, we are going to go ahead and do it because Harper wants to. So the first thing we're going to do is take our finger, get your finger like this, or we can do like this. Get a finger. Put your finger up. Hold up your finger like this. We're going to stick it right in the middle. 
just like this. Do like that. Good job. So we're going to make a little hole in the middle. Here, put your seeds in. Right in the middle. Let's put them in the hole. Let me get that one down in there. We're going to cover them up. And in a minute, we will water all of our things at the same time. So the first one right here is the orange peppers. And they are called habaneros. So you're going to stick them in for me. What's the first thing you have to do? You have to make a hole. Good job. Then we have to get a seed. I see. I see. We're going to plant two seeds. I'll plant two seeds. All right, put those seeds in there. You can get them, pinch them. Good job. Go ahead and you can do one at a time. Put it in the little hole. And then get one more. Put it in the hole. Now we got to cover them up. And then we'll water them. We're going to finish this for the whole tray with all of our different types of peppers. Uh, we're going to take a box and we're going to put flowers in them and we're going to take a box. And what are we going to put in here first? We're going to put... What do we have to put in here first? What's the first thing plants need? What is it? Dirt. Dirt. Or soil. soil. So go ahead and start dumping it in. And we'll smooth them out. So this tray, the little smaller containers, uh, they're not heat containers. They're going to be impatience. They grow well in the shade. Uh, we have a great spot under our deck to plant some impatience. We typically do um, begonias, but this year we're going to try impatience because I couldn't find begonia seeds. And okay. I, so we're going to fill this up with dirt first. It's a fun project, isn't it? And the best part about this is we're going to get to eat the stuff that we're planting and and then with the flowers we're going to get to see the pretty flowers yes what some people would call the fruits of our labor so when we're working we're getting stuff ready and then we'll get the reward later but this is something we're gonna have to wait for isn't it and we'll check it every day to see if we've made progress and we'll add water and check the temperature outside to make sure it's not too cold for them. If it's cold outside, what can we do with our plants to keep them warm? We have to cover them up. Cover them up, or we can take them inside because we keep it warm inside, don't we? Yeah. Mine is all gone. So are we going to check the weather every day and see what the temperature is? Make sure it's not going to get too cold. Where are we going to look at the weather? How are we going to check the weather? Let's go and put it. Now, how are we going to check the weather to see if it's hot or cold? Cold. Are we going to look up on our, what are we going to look at the weather on? How do we check and see if it's supposed to rain? Do you remember? We use our iPad, or we can use, watch the news on TV and see what the weatherman's saying, right? Yeah, we have to watch the news. Yeah, you like watching the news? Yes. Me too. All right. Next, we have to put our seeds in. These seeds are really tiny. You hear their dog over there? So Daddy's gonna take off his gloves for this. Okay. You can leave yours on. But I'm going to... Daddy's gonna do these seeds because they're tiny. Look how little they are. So with these, since they're such small seeds, I'll just put them in there and then we'll sprinkle a little extra dirt on top. Give them something to germinate in. I want water. I want, want some water. water. There you go. This ended up being a really fun project with my daughter. We checked the garden daily to see if we have any new growth. Now the first thing that came up were the marigolds. As a a week and a half, 
we do not have any other sprouts yet. But we'll continue checking them and watering them as we go. It's a fun activity to check with my daughter every day. If you found this video interesting or helpful, go ahead and click subscribe on my channel and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see a video showing the proper way to prune crepe myrtle trees, click the video on the top left. If you want to see a video showing the proper way to deadhead or prune your knockout roses, click the video in the top right. Hope you guys